the road. So it's a slow Friday night. Not a good look. So XV up in the NYS. What's up? What's up? It's just a red, 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 revolution. Times are ticking. What'd you cook tonight? What'd you cook tonight, my brother? More steak. Maybe some lamb chops. Pizza bagels. Oh, no cheese. <laughs> so tomatoes, tomato sauce, right? Can't have pizza with no cheese though. You might as well. Yeah. Sounds like what I saw them eating in Bulgaria. Turn left they had a pizza line, sign up. People were walking line. away with hard bread with some red stuff on it. They called it pizza. Wow, poor people. Poor guys. Oh, did I miss my okay. Poor guys. I had pizza today again. Turn left on the road. Make it. Then turn left. But I eat it. Then I had uh Italian cheeseburger. Two meals. Still don't, still don't feel right. Drinking cranberry juice. Time to flush me out. How was your day? You know, you can get Italian hot dog in Newark. It's the bomb with onions. Whatever else you prefer. Arriving at St. Peter's Hospital. Continue inside the St. Peter's Hospital air. Alright, I hope these people are here. I hope I'm in the right place. Classic creator. You create the classics. Oh my goodness. Bipolar bear? You bipolar? I don't know what Turn the lights here. Make sure it's in the right place. 16. Hey, you bipolar? Oh, I said 16. He's feeding 101. I'm getting the money from me tomorrow. Okay. 118. Uh, bipolar. So, um, okay, you must be calm now. That's good. 16. You said St. Peter's, right? Oh boy. No, I'm not a. I'm. I'm not the popo, but I used to be a CO. Now I drive the cabo. 18. Your photo. I'll try it again, please. Not 18 if you just, I don't think. Yes, that's right. Bar 114. Why is that then? Why is what then? Jesus, God. I got you. It's a, it's a walking. 16. You said St. Peter's, right? Yes. Okay, I'm um, at the ER. I'm still waiting. Uh, maybe that's her right there. It look like it. What's going on, the Willie Show? What's up, Willie, Willie, Willie? Willie, 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 Willie. William, what's up, William? And some numbers. Oh, that's not her. Just chilling. It's 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 a slow Friday night out here, man. 
it's not a good look. Not a good look. Especially when they charge more on Friday. The lease is higher. This could be the first Friday. I gotta go to Saratoga and get a Saratoga license. This is not working. This is not working out. Saratoga is bumping right now because of the, um, you know, the track is rolling now. This is crazy. I was on Destiny for a while. What's Destiny? Scoper? Destiny's Child. They should have tried to call and see where they are up there. Who's trying to call? Who is he talking about? Did you answer that? Who's Destiny? I just want to lay down. It's a first person shooter. It's a first person shooter. I don't know what that means. Hey, I'm not exposed. I'm not going to drink any energy drinks, but this is when I would drink one. I get energy from somewhere. Maybe one wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> oh, let me see if I got some. The plot. You you you're a traveler doing to save the day. The plot. You're a traveler. You want to say trying? Trying to save the day. Mm -hmm. I got pills. So I'm gonna miss a drink. Sixteen. Okay. Sixteen. Uh, what did you say? I'm sitting in front of the ER. Yeah, they're trying to get a hold. Guess I don't have a choice, do I? Yeah, I'm a traveler trying to save the day. That's me. The plot thickens. I know I'm getting a little tired, and it's way too early to be getting tired. Well, my sister's birthday is May 21st, 1970. She died at 40. In a few minutes, her birthday will be official. In 40 minutes. 39 minutes. It'll be official. She's not here to celebrate it with me. Lenore, are you watching, Shorty? I'm driving a cab. Driving a cab. Jonathan's doing good. She has a son still with us here. He's going to graduate from graduate school. Straight giving him jobs while I'm sitting here. He's going to graduate. It's more about leveling up. Leveling up? What you mean? He's going to graduate from grad school next month. I know you're proud of him. We all are. He's doing well. So you should be resting in peace, my sister. Your characters? I think you mean characters. Sup, expert. Oh, yeah, she does. Don't call me. How you doing? You, um... Sixteen, she came out. Sixteen, right there. Go ahead. I 
I went ahead, brother. Hold on a second. Okay, where are you going? Say again. What's the address? 35 South Ferry. Yeah, I got you with the Econos. The address is 35 South Ferry. He's talking about characters, you said. Ouch. Truck. 268 Washington. Multiplayer matches on a crazy. On a crazy. Uh, I'll check it out. I'm going to get a PS. I don't know which level. My entertainment. Entertainment center. And a bigger television. Sure, you got. I said I'll probably go to the four, go to the highest. I had a regular PlayStation. Might as well get that one. We use it probably more to play movies than anything. Even though I can play that on the computer. But you play sport games. If I play sport games live, play like people using their own. Um, Players joining in games. The last time I played it seemed like it was impossible to stop people from scoring. Yeah. 
for you today. Six hundred dollars. That year, that year. So. It's dead Friday. Oh, it's down three fifty. Alright, that's good. What would make it be higher? 
you get. You can get less features. Still giving you one controller when you buy those things. So I never could understand. Yeah, I did. I'm flashing like a mother. Basically, PS4 upgrade. Okay. Y'all yeah, want to play my. What time is it, y'all? Let's see. Okay, it's 11.36. Let me go get another drink. 24 minutes. Counting. Any opinions on the election and how it's shaped up? Now I'm still just blown away by that and uh God, this girl could write any smaller. Gee whiz, what the heck? Her signature. It's crazy. Um I'm still tripping that Trump got Trump got the nomination, right? I'm still tripping on that. I don't like either choice, probably won't vote. You know, I um sad but a lot of people feel that way it's a really weird election to me it's really strange like the fact that trump is being considered i just can't wrap my arms around that listen we are i can't wrap my arms around that i hate to admit or say something like that because it's such a slap in the face to our ancestors to the people who fought for the right you know i can't fix it it just does what it does yeah i i i just hate to, i just hate the say it but this is pretty bad i can't believe it no i have to say that it's good that he's the choice you know why why so they can't win it means we have some real democracy i don't know about that man i don't i mean i hear you but i can't understand people actually chose him I guess you can look at it like that more people involved because before that I don't suppose what I don't suppose what he says you didn't mean that did you 16 don't support yeah I mean I know you don't I mean I know what you're saying and you're probably right and I probably should look at it that way clear you know, I didn't look at it that way. You're probably right. You're probably right. Because 
because till now no fringe on either side would get that nomination that's why Al Sharpton would never get it never got it you know they wouldn't that's why Romney didn't get it you know because every other person is a um, politician you know but you make a good point you make a good point because yeah you make a good point but how but that's a that's dangerous though that's dangerous um i'm buying a new ps4 because my current model is low on hard drive space and old age okay um it's dangerous though because how this guy knows nothing about running anything but why are they choosing him? Exactly. That's dangerous. That they couldn't come up with a more qualified person. Because this dude knows nothing about it. I mean, it's one thing to say, uh, yeah, the politician. But that's what it is. It, it's it's a race of politicians. People who, who know what they're doing or supposed to know what they're doing. Have some experience. You know, not somebody who has a lot of money. Because they, they, um, they would always fight off the person who has the money, that's where the funding regulations and all of that, that they wouldn't allow you to buy the seat. He just basically bought it. That's kind of scary. And he pretty much bought it. And these people think that he cares about them. I don't even get it. So the per somebody with a lot of money can, um, you know, get the nomination. That's kind of scary. But you know, at the end of the day, though, for whatever the reason, they chose him. They chose him. I would say he bought it. I'd say he. He performed for it. Yeah, he performed, but he wouldn't have been able to, to get that if he didn't have all the money he has. Because he was able to, to be anywhere he needed to be. He was able to... You know, he, he was able to outspend. He's, you know, he's a rich guy. People think, um, I mean, he's, and I don't, I did, you know, to be honest, I don't know anything about this guy. I can't really speak a whole lot. It's just, I can't even say that. This is true, but he gave them the character they want. Yeah, but who wants that character as the president? Why would you want a character to run the country? Like somebody who doesn't know what he's doing. Just because he's popular. And he's not popular because he, because he doesn't know what he's doing. That's what I just... I can't... I don't understand. I mean, I get what you're saying for sure. You're saying that the people spoke. I understand what you mean. You were the good rep. Yeah, I mean, I, I get what you're saying. It's like the people actually... Popular... Popular actually did it. The popular vote. The, the most people... You know, we're able to speak. I get that. Yeah, that's what the mind. Yeah, but we're so. But the people are idiots. Those people. I don't. It's like, do you? It's. But you know. Yeah. I mean, you get. You're gonna get it. What you. What you're gonna get. What you deserve. Yeah. You're gonna get what you deserve. You think you. You're gonna do it. So that for once, when we were able, when the country was able, to do that and really succeed at um. Ed, wait, I came here and they didn't have one. I had to go to the other place. The good thing is, you know that you are surrounded by some, yeah, the good thing. <laughs> Why is that a good thing? <laughs> Why is that a good thing? Oh, he said. <laughs> Why is that a good thing? It means they have been there for a decade. But they're not hiding. I See, the thing about me is I've known already and we know, but the thing is, you can't tell me things aren't better. That's all I keep saying. You cannot tell me things aren't better. Are they where they should be? Where they will be? Not yet. But they're a whole lot better than where we came from. I mean, I just got to go back to that every time. And every time someone talks about what we have. Yeah, we still have it, but it's so much better than it was. We have a ways to go, but it's still so much better than it was. And people forget that. They are deaf better and we have to work to make it. Yes, we do. But people forget that and they want to toss it up. Oh, we're still, no, we're not. You know, we were slaves. You gotta go, if you gotta take it all the way back to that, we were slaves. We weren't even human. Then we were half a human. Then it was a separate but equal. Then it was, you know, the women, we've come through all type of stages. 
and we're better, but you know, we still have a ways to go. I wasn't fooled that it was all done. Anybody who thought that I love watching New York, oh yeah. Even though anybody who thought that we had arrived and racism was all gone, you know, they were delusional. People are invested in themselves, not this country. Yeah, and that's and and the passion of wanting to um, correct those evils and make things better and all of that. Yeah, it's people that are that are going through life with their head under the you know in the sand, not caring, thinking it doesn't affect them when it does in the long run. But yeah, I didn't think we were all there. So anybody who thought that. They need a wake-up call. Anybody thought that racism was completely dead and everything was fine, you know, they're delusional. But you got to give credit to where we came from. You can't, you know. But to perfectly honest with you, more than racist, he sounds like a ultra-nationalist. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. And like I said, to a fault, I haven't paid attention. And I'm just... I can't, I can't speak on a lot of facts about him. It just... It's just a little bit that I know is disturbing. And you're probably right about that. But when I get these people in the cab, black, white, all right, we usually, what have I seen a black person say? Maybe I haven't. I'm trying to think now. I'm trying to, I don't even know if I had a black. But the young people, you know, it's like he got the young vote. Or at least he got the young Republican vote. These young people are... I think they think that they can, he can show them how to be like him, to be rich like him or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But they think, they think that, um, he's going to give them wealth because he has it. Like, like Romney was saying, and he didn't get the nomination. I know how to run a business so I can run a country. It's not the same thing. I was successful. See, look at him. Oh, look at all the money I made. I think most people are short-sighted. Yeah, I think so too. That's a good point. I know how much... Um, you know, I look look at me, I'm successful. I can make the country successful. Are these people, do they really believe that nonsense? You know? That's definitely not how it goes. But those same people, they don't know, they have no idea where we came from. They're closed, they're closed up. They don't know. They're trying to rewrite the history books. Ah, uh, just got a hot flash, you say. It's 11 to 2. It's 11 minutes to 12. It's 11, it's 14 minutes to 12 o'clock. And guess what happens at, at 12 o'clock? It will be May 21st. You know what May 21st is? On May 21st, 1970, my sister was born. You know what is driving me crazy? The AIDS epidemic in Atlanta. Really? Yes, it is, Willie. She won't be here to celebrate it. not here. Sometimes I try to ignore it. I'm going to get another juice. I'm going to get another cocktail juice. I mean, uh, cranberry juice. I'll be right back. There are places in Atlanta with worse age rates. Are you serious? I didn't want everybody migrated to Atlanta, running around having sex with everybody. It was a big migration to Atlanta. I remember that. I say, oh, come to Atlanta. That's where everybody's going. Come to Atlanta. That's... Well, how do you know? What are they like? Um, I mean, sex, yep, running around having sex. When I went there years ago, then those clubs were hopping. We went there for a basketball tournament. And sex was in the air then. I just thought it was because um, there was a bunch of teams there and there was this big event. But um, people were drinking and sexing. 
saw a news story and have an associate there. That's bad. So you know if, if they have it reported, you know the, the ones that aren't reported is even is another number that you don't even know. What's up, Press On? Press on, you hold court for a minute. I'm going here to get another juice. I'm not doing it. One friend of mine goes to an LA fitness there. Really? All right, hold on one second. Who right. cool. press on out there making money? It's nothing out here. Press on. It's not good out here. Had eighty percent of the people. What? Eighty percent in the club? Hold up. Okay, what time is it? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Let's see another Facebook message. Ten minutes. Press on, are you still in here? I wonder if he called me. Thank you. That's real crazy. In that club, 80%. So if 80% 80, 80 reported in this club, why would they even know in this club, though? You said it was a sports club, right? Why would they even know that? Yeah, how would they even know? Like, you got to announce that? nice if the radio came on yeah it's a mix of gay and straight men and they talk a lot about sex <laughs> so straight men go to a club with gay men that's interesting you watch Empire it's a gym yeah, I mean, I meant to say Jim. Look at Willie. <laughs> no, I meant to say, I know you said club. I meant, you know, sports club. You know, I know what you meant. I wasn't, I, I wasn't meaning to say um, that it was a party club. I know you said sports club. And they talk about sex. It's hilarious. That just sounds weird to me. But no, but still, so they're revealing that they have AIDS? I mean, I'm still tripping on how do you, how can they come up with a percentage is what I'm saying. You just threw that out there? That's why I'm not in Atlanta. You just threw that out there? You know, 80%, they just say that because how do you really know? I mean, they're, 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 they're disclosing that. Yeah, so he's just like that. Cause, I, cause you made, he made it seem like they have to um, disclose it as they sign up in their, you know, their profile or something, you know? The official rates are high.
it's going to be 12 o'clock and I'm not where I need to be at 12 o'clock. Students on here. It's almost that time. Where's I don't know. I, don't know. I guess everybody's hanging out on Friday. Some came through earlier. I did. This is not you know my first broadcast. I saw most. I saw several of them in the comments. I think everybody pretty much came at one point. I've done several broadcasts. Now maybe they're partying now. Truckers took over Dunkin' Donuts. I mean, not truckers, the bikers. I don't know, I feel weird. This guy needs to pull up his pants. You see them walk around with their pants hanging down? You don't walk around like that, do you, Revolution? You don't walk around with your pants hanging off, hanging off your butt, do you? Thank you. I didn't think you did. These freaking dummies. So sloppy, so tacky. And what it means is that you are available. They, they took over the whole parking lot, the bikers. It looks dirty. Yep, it looks. Why do I want to look at your underwear? How do I want to see that? You went to Philly yesterday? You saw some butts, some pants hanging off butts in you. Uh, four minutes. Latina Maria. The poverty there was shocking. Really? Wow. What, you went right into the city? Newark poverty does not compare to Philly poverty. Really? Well, they upgraded Newark. I'm hearing. I'm saying Newark, they've they've improved so much in the last year. Cars 16, 16, Say it again. 16. Could you repeat that? Yeah, uh, 204 Green. 204 Green Street. Well, I won't be alone at 12 o'clock. It was like a war zone. I was like, really? Shoot. Man, I'm moving to Philly. I didn't know Philly was in there. So I guess when see, Newark upgraded and Philly never did, I guess. Who the heck is this, the mayor of that town? Newark went through a makeover. 18, 18, elbow, elbow Newark went through a makeover. Um, they just mile, start building those condos and, take the first left. and stuff. So I guess Philly didn't get anything. That's terrible. Well. He was going to suffer from that, right? You went there to visit somebody? Wow. That's too bad. So they need, they need to work on their, um, their, uh, yeah, my old advisor, she transferred schools. She's going to school? Oh, she's teaching at the school, or, or is she teaching in college? I 
I missed that if you said something. She works there. So what school is it? What are you talking, college? High school? Oh, there's some people. Hmm, might have something there. Oh, it's too many cabs in this town. Too many individual cabs. That's why they're lapping up. They got a $5 cab. Killing the business. I don't even see them. Wow, the other one is really killing it. So, um, yeah, I bet the school system's got to be off the freaking hook. It's probably so bad. Is it 12 o'clock? How is this comedy? I was supposed to be, but uh, something happened. So, yeah, go someplace else if you're looking for it. I lost the mood, but I already started the scope, so it is what it is. Twelve o'clock, May twenty-first. Why you lose the mood? Um, right now it's twelve o'clock. It's May twenty-first. It's my late sister's birthday, and I have a drink of cranberry juice in her honor. Why do you keep saying man? Do you know where you are? There's a cab on the way from the cab on the way from right now. So there you go. If HR, what is that? 